Woo! Package time, yeah. Package. Woo, here we go. I can't pick it up with one hand. Woo, walking upstairs with my package. Woo, time to open my package. Be careful with knives, knives kids. Woo, here we go, what could it be? I don't know, but I ordered it. All right, here we go. Final tape. Here we go. Let's open the thing. What? 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 That's right, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the fun little intro. I'm going to put this down before I hurt myself. I made a purchase. Uh, this is a 3D printer. And if you guys know what these things do, whoo, boy, let me show ya. All right, guys, so here we are in my little craft room. There's my Titanic box. Yeah, you can see it's a bit of a mess, but I have my own little desk here. And I've already 3D printed some things. Mainly these. Ooh, what could these be, I wonder? It's part with this. Yes, I'm making a, uh, a Five Nights at Freddy's cosplay for... You know, just to have, I've always wanted to make. I'm going to move this Titanic out of the way before I uh, I break it. So it's going to go right there on the precariously perched box. But it'll be fine. Yes, guys, I'm making a FNAF cosplay. I've already 3D printed this. Took me 11 hours, but, you know. And this is the arm. Well, the upper arm, the bicep, I guess you would call it. I've got the eyes for the costume, eyelids, uh, the little things. I don't know what they're called. But I was thinking, like, uh, this is going to be a fun cosplay. But a 3D printer, guys, can print anything as long as I have the files for it. So I was thinking of turning this room into, like, a little... Um, like, sort of, how do I, how do I put this? Like, a little craft room kind of thing. And I was going to mainly make it, like, Chuck E. Cheese, uh, Rock Fire, the FNAF inspired. But I, th I think that would be quite fun. Like, and this is just the thought process, you know, I've only printed, you know, like, five parts to one character, you know, and this is just a walk around suit which it fits quite well actually let me let's see oh i hit the I, low ceiling but yeah it fits quite well you know it's a little little tight but i think you know we can live with that and it picks up all the hair that was on my anyway so like i was thinking we could turn this into like a little like 90s arcade kind of room you know what i mean and I could put various stuff in here, like a, maybe like a quote-unquote prize corner in here where I just show off some collectibles I have, like those FNAF uh, action figures I still have in the box. or I have a bunch of other FNAF action figures. They're here somewhere. I think it's that box right there, but I'm not going to look. But I think that would be a really cool idea. If you guys like that idea, uh, let me know in the comments. And if you have any ideas of what I could do, like, please, like, let me know. And this is just a little update I wanted to do because, you know, I haven't been posting videos. I've been feeling a little under the weather lately and feeling a little bit better. So videos are going to be coming out. Uh, we're going to be continuing with the Rockfire series in all due time. I'm still not 100% ready to do that one yet. But, you know, obviously we need some cleaning out. But, you know, we could do like a... I don't know, we could have, like, a makeshift stage here. You know, you come in there. I might get, like, a, a small arcade. Like, we'll have... I don't know. Maybe we'll have, like, a table against there. We could watch the show. I don't know. I don't know if they're actually going to work, but, hey! You know, they might just 
stand there and we'll do some flashing lights and we'll have like some maybe some mini arcade cabinets around here some definitely some like decorations and so yeah what do you guys think you know like whatever whatever ideas you guys have put in the comments down below and i will um and i will definitely take them into consideration write them down see what's plausible what isn't i definitely need to move these boxes are probably going to be the first thing to go a lot of this stuff can be moved into here. There's just like storage. Which if I clean it out enough might be like a back room kind of thing. I don't know. Might be kind of cool. But yeah, whatever you guys uh, have uh, plans, just let me know. I'll put it in the comments below. So yeah, it's going to be it signing out. Uh, if for me, I'll show you how the, the 3D printer real quick kind of cool <laughs> i've been watching like i printed this uh don't mind the desk it's a little messy because i haven't gotten a chance to clean it yet but i printed a little bill cipher thing here and i painted it see i had white film and then it ran out yeah but i printed this little bill and he's got little legs i i have yet to put on his little legs because my glue that I've been using doesn't work so I found this like fast setting 3d glue or no uh, plastic glue so hopefully that works it said it was good for uh, PLA plastic which is what I print out of but oh geez I'm not gonna be able to get that out of there but yeah uh, so yeah I'm gonna finish printing my one character any guesses who it could be comments down below the person who gets it will get a free uh, shout out and possibly a little reward. I don't know. I have a few uh, failed 3D prints over here. So if you guys would like some, I don't know, maybe I'll ship it to you guys. I don't know. So yeah, I have a bunch of files in here already. I don't want to reveal too much of what. Just plug the usb drive into the little thing there which I, I didn't know how to use this thing start off so that was fun whoops what did i just do